So let's zoom in on the terminal window here uh, because we have some more things to do on the Raspberry Pi. They want us to install python-dev and python-smbus. So we're going to do a sudo, which stands for super user do, that gives you the privileges on the command line to install software in your Raspberry Pi. If you think about a Linux computer, uh, if you have a lot of users, uh, you also need an administrator. Well, SU is the administrator privilege. So we're going to do an apt <coughs> We're going to do apt-get update and that's going to update our operating system which should already be pretty up-to-date because we just downloaded noobs and it may not do anything but Maybe on a daily basis things are being updated, so it looks like there are some updates. Alright, that took a little longer than I expected. Next step is to do an upgrade. And last time I did this it took a long time. So we're going to do an upgrade, which means we're going to upgrade our operating system, not just update it. At one point in apt-get upgrade, we ran into this Julian Kristaw error with the X server. So I'm just going to press Q and let it go on. Okay, apt-get upgrade finished. Now we need to install python-dev. sudo apt-get install dash dev <coughs> yes we want to continue okay and python smbus you may have noticed there that in order to get the last command back, I press the up arrow key and then just delete in the last three letters and entered SMBus. So when you're in Linux, you can use the up and down arrows to go back and forth between commands. That's definitely a good way to do it. So now, assuming your USB camera is plugged into the Raspberry Pi, let's run the command ls usb. ls is a normal command for listing the directory contents, so I assume that ls usb lists the USB devices that are attached. And there we go. We have a keyboard, blah blah blah, and we have Gembird. Gembird is the USB camera. And so we are now going to see if the driver for the camera is working normally by doing ls slash dev slash vid star. And we see we have a slash dev slash video. So slash dev is not actually a directory location. So most of the time, let's do a uh, let's do a pwd print working directory. So that's slash home slash pi. So that's our directory on our hard drive, or in this case, the flash card. Uh, but when we do, when we go into slash dev, these are now devices. So you write something into slash dev slash whatever, it actually 
goes to some sort of I.O. port instead of to a disk. Um, there are devs such as MEM, uh, devs such as CPU where you can get information about the CPU. So <clears throat> that's what the slash dev is for. So we see slash dev slash video. That's all good. Uh, we are in the normal state, so now we are going to install some more software. sudo apt get subversion.